precious time we had with Daniel. We treasured every moment and take comfort knowing that he's safe in your arms. We ask that you bless our family and watch over us. Give us the strength and wisdom to accept the past, to live in the present, and to look forward to the future. Amen. Hi. Hi. How are, how, are you? How, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine as well as can be expected anyway. We're having a party. Yeah, so I hear. How exciting, eh? <laughs> Any news from your dad? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to come. They know they're always welcome. Perhaps another time might be easier. Yeah. Oh, I bought uh, Arthur some presents from all of us. Well, why don't you bring them over later? I know Jasmine would love to have you there. <laughs> Save her from all those old fuddy duddies. <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. <sighs> no! Oh, no, you do it too hard! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I just hope this time you got some clothes on. <laughs> oh, <flipping egg. laughs> do you know that sort of thing can leave scars in the young mind? <sighs> <laughs> Oi, is that the last of the milk? <coughs> yeah, sorry. Right, gotta go. Hey, is he ever gonna get any shopping in? Is it any of your business? Yeah, he's gonna want a cup of tea, yeah. You should have picked a fight then, should you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't it bother you living with someone that young? Oh, he's all right most of the time. <sighs> yes, but wouldn't you rather be shacked up with some hot babe? Why, do you know any? <laughs> do you know that I was serious about moving in together? I think we should, you know, give it a go, see if we can stand being around each other all the time. Uh, I'm a joy to live with. I'm no trouble to anyone. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I won't bring your toothbrush if you think you can handle it. You're here half the time anyway. So romantic. <laughs> so as I don't want to live with two boys, living with one's bad enough. I've got to go to work. Talk to you later. What's Donald got that I haven't? Uh, milk. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Perfect time. Morning. You've got to be kidding. Well, if you don't want people in at 11 o'clock, you shouldn't open up. I told you we should have stayed at home. Even if Eric was, I'd be in the bathroom. He was trying to have a soak. I reckon someone took all the hot water last night. Well, there's room for more than one in that tub. Where's his sense of adventure? What's our motto? What happens between friends stays between friends. Works both ways, sister. Any chance of a cocktail? It's 11 o'clock. I was only talking about a bloody Mary. They're good for you, aren't they? Mail in a glass. Hair of the dog. I didn't mean tomato juice. I think you finally met your match. Come on through the back, then. At least then I can have a ciggy. Oh, right. You'll bring them round if I will warn you, love. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are they going to be here all the time? <sighs> Looks like it. They're not all out in my kitchen, OK? I'll tell them. They might not listen, but I'll tell them. How's Donna? Oh, OK, considering. I mean, she's worried about her mum, obviously. The doctor's reckon she was lucky. Could have been a lot worse. Is she up for visitors yet? I thought I'd give it a day or two. Oh, she'd love to see you. Coming! If I dare leave these two unsupervised. She's, uh, she's thinking of leaving the force. No. That's what she reckons. She's had a shock. She'll come round. Well, I don't know. I think it's a bit more than that. She seems pretty disillusioned. She'll bounce back. She's a right little belter, our Donna. Yeah. Ah! Oh! Hidden talents. Oh, the catalogs. Yeah. Well, Illyra's department, really, but as she's flying back from Cuba as we speak, Jasmine's giving it a go. I'd, I never would have had Hillary down as a socialist. Yeah, well, I think she's more interested in the beaches than uh -huh. the politics, but something's doing it for her because she sounded very jolly. In fact, I think she might have been a bit tipsy. Mm. So, are you picking her up? Under strict instructions not to. She's insisting we all focus on Arthur today. <sighs> And what Hillary wants. Hillary. Hillary, yes. yeah. yeah. Well, it'll be nice for Laurel to have her mum back home. Uh, look, I might as well tell you 
We're not going to be staying in the village. Oh, oh right. I, well, I, I just presume well, that you well, both it feels stay... like It feels like time to head home. Well, you will be sorely missed. Well, it's going to be a bit of a wrench, but if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy. It just feels like time for a fresh start for all of us. How did Laurel take the news? That's a little problem. I haven't told her yet. I'll see oh, you later. Oh, yeah. Oh. Absolutely. Well, subject to survey and everything. Great. No, furnished or unfurnished, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, so just give me a call if there are any problems. Yeah, thanks again. Speak soon. Bye. Not moving out already, are you? Why would I want to do that? Sorry, none of my business. I have no intention of going anywhere. Just a little business acquisition, that's all. I was just going to say, you've only been here five minutes. Surely this place is big enough for you and your dad, even if you don't always get along. We're getting along just fine, thank you. Like I say, none of my business. Hmm. Well, at least we agree on something. Any calls? Do I look like your secretary? Only asking. Ah-ha-ha! You were smart booking a half day today. Oh, probably because he's got Val's crony staying mm. with them. Mind you, she looks a bit of an handful. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, it's no point in taking it out on us, though, is mm. there? Excuse me. Is this the right road for Mill Cottage? Oh, yes, love. You just follow the road down till you can't go any further. No, you can't miss it. Thanks. Any time. Oh. Grayson didn't hang about, did he? Maybe he needs the money. But I wouldn't have put it past his mother to have left the whole lot to the cat's home. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye love. Oh, for me. <laughs> Morn. Can you um give these to Donna? I'll go myself. I'm late for the shift. She was really upset yesterday. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I, I should have wound my neck in. What do you want me to tell her? Um, just. Sorry, I suppose, and tell her to get well and that we all miss her. At the station? Yeah. Better start getting over that, then. The one good thing to come out of all this is that she's finally seen sense about her job. What do you mean? She's not going back. She's had it with the station, with a lot of you. Well, I thought I'd take a couple of hours off and come to the park with my girls. Oh, Sarah will be well chuffed. I was hoping you'd be as well. Yeah, I am. Of course I am. It's just ironing. Well, I can go on my overalls if you like. Don't you dare. I just wanted to make an effort. I know. Thanks. But you don't have to do anything special. I just, I just want things back to be normal. And they will be. I promise. We'll be all right, won't we, And? Of course we will. I'll make sure of it. This had better be good. Oh, it is, I promise you. Have you washed this scarf? It smells of kebabs. But you women are supposed to be into all this mystery and romance. Yeah, who told you that then? Well, Scarlet's always leaving the magazines around the house. And you read them? Might have done. I thought it was all supposed to be about ponies and lip gloss. Jimmy would have a fit if you ever saw one. Right, are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. What am I meant to be looking at? Carl. Oh. And you must be Ms Nichols. Well, do come in. It's a lovely property. I don't believe you. Five minutes, lady, we're going. All right. <laughs> you better shift yourself. You're not going like that. Told you I'm not coming. Hey, 
it might do you good. I, I might be busy. I, I might have other plans. What, involving what? Oh, leave it, Lisa. I didn't mind you to go down the malt shovel when the skittles were on. You don't even play skittles. I don't now. They've turned the skittle alley into a cocktail lounge. But we're leaving in two minutes. I'll give you a lift in the van. How many times? I am not going to no party. Go. In your face, little brother. Who's a loser now? That'll be ten pounds, please. Busy. Man's got to relax somehow. Can we help you? Yeah, I wanted to go for a hack, but there's no one in the yard. I thought they might be in here. Doesn't look like it. OK. Thanks, anyway. I'll walk you over. I'm sure they can't be far. Thanks. I've got to do something to work off my frustrations. Woman's got to relax somehow. <laughs> can we uh, leave you to manage here? Oh, I think I can cope. Mm. And uh, you're still on for that pint later? Uh, yeah, fine. Oh, no. Uh, change of plan. I, uh, Carl wanted me to check out his new place. First I've heard of it. He's moving in with Lexi. He's bought Mill Cottage. Uh, Grayson was flogging it off cheap. He's done what? No, oh, Jackie can keep all that, please. <laughs> Jake, can you not go do that somewhere else? No, I could, but it wouldn't be as much fun. Uh, right, <laughs> party bags. Did Doug get any party bags? I don't know. Well, you'll have to go to the shop. I can't handle that much responsibility. You'll have to come with me. But Jake! Oh, it'll take five seconds. Come on. Right, well, literally be like five minutes. Yeah, take your time. We've got everything sorted here. Can I give you a hand? Oh, no, I don't know. I think we've got everything covered, Dad. Look, there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. Oh, well, nothing heavy, I hope, because I'm trying really hard. To... No, 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 no. It's not about kids. I'm going to give Lytham some Tams another go. I'm going to head back with your mother after the party. When was this decided? Well, I've always been going to go eventually. I can't stay here forever. No. No, well, well, I suppose that's good news, isn't it? My place is with your mum. You understand that, don't you? Yeah, I'm just going to miss you, Dad. Come here. <sighs> Everything OK? Yeah, we're having a moment, Ashley. Oh. I'll get it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you. Hiya. Come in, come in, come in. We're not too early, are we? <laughs> we brought supplies! Have you met me friend Bonnie? She's staying with us for a couple of days. Oh, don't stand on ceremony for me. I'll sort us out some glasses. Yeah. You're still doing food? Oh, sorry, no. The chef is out, kitchen's closed, but I can do you a simply delicious bag of crisps. Just a tiny water. Mm -hmm. I'll get that. Am I missing something here? It's just a drink. There's no hidden agenda. Glad to hear it. I just wanted to make sure you hadn't done anything stupid. Mold me brother down underfoot, giving in to your baser instincts. I usually manage to just about keep them under control. Well, that is a shame. OK, 120, please. Yeah, Pop. Cheers. Thank you. So, I don't have to worry about my baby brother's welfare. Oh, no, I didn't say that now. Did I? Hey, yeah. I'm proud of you. Oi! Uh, <laughs> what's off you? <laughs> oh, now that must be Betty. <laughs> right, well. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, thank you. Just as well, we bought our own booms. Always plead poverty, don't they, these knicker types? How many you know, like? Oh. <laughs> Perhaps, in actual fact, they're all loaded, just tight as a nut. <laughs> oh! Who's made that? <laughs> Me? Oh, I didn't think you were going to bring anything. It was also last minute. No, I always. 
always make cake. Look, does it really matter in the scheme of things? We can have both. I'm sure they'll get eaten. Yeah. 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 Oh, property really pushes your buttons, doesn't it? I'll have to be buying houses more often. I can't believe it's actually ours. Well, it's mine, technically. My name will be on the mortgage. You knew what I mean. <laughs> just as long as we're clear. Oh, just ignore it. Oh, it'll probably be Daz forgotten his key again. Oh. What do you want? Oh. Aubrey, come in. Didn't expect to see you here so soon. I'm sorry. I thought I should see you in person. Uh, what can we do for you? I'm afraid there's been a complication. What sort of complication? The vendor has instructed me to tell you that he's had a counter-offer. An offer that's been accepted. You better be winding me up. From who? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> Three guesses. Mr Sinclair is perfectly within his rights to change his mind. It's all entirely legal and above board. I'm not getting involved in a bidding war. And nobody's trying to force you into that position. You are aware you came into negotiations at a late stage yourself. Anna was interested first. Why didn't you tell me she was involved? What difference does it make? I don't know. You tell me. What's our next move? I really wouldn't feel comfortable to advise. Only you can decide what the house is worth to you. Yeah, but we need this to pass the parcel. Yeah, but it's got to be upbeat, isn't it? Yeah, fair enough. Ow! Oh, How many's body hats? I don't know, but the recycling bin's going to be full this week. Gate crashes at a one-year-old's party. What was Val thinking? Actually, no harm done. Not so far. <laughs> Still, we wanted a proper party. We had a pretty good turnout. Yeah, with one notable exception. I'm just going to pop out. I won't be long. Now? Yeah, just don't stop the music when Bonnie and Val have got the parcel. All right? I'll be long, darling. Check it, you've only every five minutes. Is it going to make it get here any quicker? I know. I just can never hear it, especially if there's a lot of background noise. <laughs> and I don't want to miss it if you just call. Oh, you big softy. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Windsor Dingle. Hey. Oh, you don't have to bring me flowers. Well, um, much as I'd like to take the credit, they're from Ross. Guess he's feeling pretty guilty. Though not guilty enough to bring them in himself, apparently. Probably didn't want to risk another row. I think I might have overreacted a bit yesterday. Said he had to work. I was going to bring you some tulips from the shop, but Bob and his hands full. Didn't want to bother him. How's he doing with the twins? He's, he's like a whirling dervish. I can't get him to sit still. He shouldn't have to cope on his own. Well, I'll go and check on him later. Don't worry. I can't help it. Hey, you! Just concentrate and get yourself better, OK? You're not used to anyone stuck in here. Did Ross say anything? He wanted you to know he was really sorry. Well, there's a big difference between feeling guilty and actually being sorry. the pub first. You're not coming to the party? No. I don't think it'd be much fun. <sighs> We've not forgotten Daniel, you know. Just because we're having a party for Arthur doesn't mean that we've forgotten him. I know you haven't. You wouldn't. You don't need to explain that to me. Sure, I can't persuade you have something stronger than a tonic bar. I'm test driving a new car in an hour. I think it's probably best if I haven't been drinking. Come with me, unless you've got plans. What do you think you're playing at? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like it when people play you at your own game? This isn't a game to me. I wanted that place as a home for me and Lexi. And I wanted it as an investment, which is what I told you this morning before you went behind my back and tried to steal it off me. You're just doing this out of spite. 
You've had it in for me from the moment you came here. Oh, poor little Carl. Can't imagine why. Now, remind me again. What was it that first attracted you to my elderly millionaire father? <laughs> Don't take it out on me, because Donald didn't see fit to hand the company over to you. Well, that's his lookout, isn't it? If you want Mill Cottage, put in a better offer. If not, stop bleating on about it to me. It's just going to take long, Carl, aren't they? We've made plans. Are you really that desperate? I'm not going to sit here and listen to this. You've been outbid, Carl. Get over it. Shall we? Mm. Well, we've had to start the party games. The kids were getting fractious. And his friend was getting rather aggressive, too. Someone's getting a little overexcited about past the parcel. You're missing all the fun. Funny! Top up! Oh, fine. There you go, kid. Lock yourself out. I'll be about ten minutes. I'll see you later. Bye. You go on. You don't have to wait for me. No, we're going to have a drink and then we're going to go together. Hi, please, Diane. And... Uh, orange juice for me, please. Barrel's just gone. Can you hang on? Yeah, no problem. You know, I have nothing against little Arthur. I mean, he's a smashing lad, but I'm now to do with him. What are you talking about? He's still his godfather. Sure. We still want you to be part of our family. To help our son grow up, nothing has changed. I feel unloyal. Do you remember ringing those church bells to sound the alarm that day? I nearly had a heart attack with the effort. Yeah, well, I would have helped you if I could have stood up. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs mobile phones, eh? You would thank God you were there, oh. even if it was to nick the wine. Oh, not one of my finer moments. Yeah. You did us proud. Ah, well, maybe it was God of fate or whatever you want to call it. Put me there to help you and little Daniel. It wasn't Daniel, though, was it? It was Arthur I gave birth to. It was little Arthur who was struggling to come into the world. It was Arthur you saved, Shadrach. I was just coming to see you. Saved you the bother then, didn't I? Oh, what's up now? If it's not Matthew, it's you. I need to cash in some of my shares in the business. What for? I need to get my hands on some money, sharpish. Oh, you haven't done anything stupid, have you? Of course I haven't. You always said I could buy myself out of the company if I ever wanted to. Well, yeah, but... It's not exactly the best timing at the moment. Oh, come on, Jimmy, don't play games. I'd like to help you out. I'm not asking for favours. I'm asking for what's mine. But we can't give you what we don't have. Every penny's tied up at the moment. Well, I want to see the books. That's fine, mate. But be warned, they don't make for happy reading. What could you give me? Not a whole lot. And if this deal with Cartwrights doesn't come off, we may not have a business either. you let it get to this? Why wasn't I told? What were you going to do? Wave a magic wand? I had a right to know. <sighs> we'll be all right if we can seal this Cartwright deal. If? <sighs> we're not the only ones in this situation. The whole world's in economic crisis, in case you hadn't noticed. And what if Cartwrights don't go with us? Then we're well and truly stuffed. When are we going to hear? Matthew's chasing them. You know what these things are like. <laughs> and in the meantime? In the meantime, we sit tight and wait for the storm to pass. Dad! 
Tell me you haven't. <gasps> oh, we were invited. Well, the door was open. <laughs> and you brought back party bags. Oh, it's only a bit of cake. Would have been rude not to. They had it coming out their ears. Not literally, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to look. Get us a coffee, will ya? <laughs> My goodness, she's finally saturated. <laughs> oh, and sling a whiskey in there while you're at it. I can't believe you. You know what Ashley and Laurel have been through. They don't need a couple of ageing drunks gate-crushing their party. I am in my prime. Besides, I've got to keep her away from Eric. Operation damage control. Operation liver damage control, more like. Oh, shut up, Paul. Bring me coffee through. I'm going for a fan. Hello. Oh dear. It's either women or money that's put that look on your face. That obvious, is it? What's up? I've been rowing with your daughter. So what's new? She's trying to do me out of buying a house. None of her business where you live, is it? It is if she's bidding on the same place. It's all got a bit nasty. She wants to buy it and flog it on, make some money. I think it's perfect for me and Lexi. Plenty of houses going cheap at the moment. That's what I said. She could buy anywhere, but how often is it a house in the village comes up? It's Grayson's old place, Mill Cottage. Where is she now? On a date with Matthew. What is it with that girl? She's like a bee round honey as soon as someone who's trouble pops up. We had a set two in the pub and they went off together. Sometimes I think her sole aim in life is to be a total pain in my backside. Yeah. No. Yeah. no running in the house. Gabby, Gabby, no running in the house. It's a party. <laughs> so, you'll be wanting a little of your own soon enough, eh? I'll have a word with Andy for you. <laughs> no word from Mel and Greg. They've sent presents. I think they felt it'd be a bit much to come to the party. Happiness will get easier as the years go by. We hope so. Come on, Shadrach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, three guesses where you found him. Well, in church, actually. Where is he, then, the birthday boy? Oh, Andy's got him in the kitchen. Would you mind availing for a bit? <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to see you. It's not often you get a second chance. I'm not going to waste this one. I don't know what you said to him, but it's certainly done the trick. She was like this as a child, you know. Very willful. Never learnt to temper it with common sense. I'll give her another ring. She can't ignore me all day. Would you like me to give you some privacy? No, no, it's all right. You stay where you are. Hand me the phone. got a lot of anger to burn off at the moment. There aren't better ways, you know. None that I've found just yet. Did I get that? No. It's your dad again. There's obviously something he wants to discuss with you. He can wait. Big day for you, eh? A new house, new motor. What's next? Oh, I always have one or two surprises up my sleeve. You sure you're not ashamed of me? I'm taking no responsibility for you. Yeah, not even for my health and safety. You've got a seatbelt on, haven't you? Right then. Let's see what she can really do. Oh, no. It will get easier, you know. 
couldn't get any worse. You're not going to get far with that kind of attitude. We can only help you so much. The rest has to come from you. I was trying. Okay. Well, next time, let's see if you can try just that little bit harder. What do you want? We need to talk. I'm sorry, but you'll have to come back during normal visiting hours. Official police business. That is maybe, but this brave young lady needs to rest. I don't want her health compromised. It won't take long. It's okay, I'll be fine. Five minutes. I suppose we'd better be making a move. Ah. We could call for a drink at the pub if you like. What about Sarah? Well, Dan can see her at the back. She loves it there, she gets a spot wrong. What do you say? Should we go and see Nana or would you rather go home? Nana. Uh, <laughs> silly Aww. question. Aww. Well, thanks for today. Pleasure. Yeah, it's been lovely, thanks. Oh, let me get you some cake. Here she is. Oh, go on, answer it. Hilary Love, where are you? Now, you thought what you were doing was best, it's not your fault. You can't blame my mum for what I did. All I'm saying is if, if there hadn't have been a court case, you wouldn't have been flying down those roads at 100 miles an hour. None of this is her fault. Oh, come on, Donna, you know as well as I do, the CPS don't put cases up unless there's strong evidence to answer. You think she did it, don't you? It doesn't matter what I think. If you were so sure she was guilty and I was doing the wrong thing, why did you go with me? You needed a mate. A mate? You let me think that you were on my side because you thought it was easier to get me into bed that way. I was trying to support you. It's not your place to support me. I've got a husband and a family to do that. I can't trust a word that comes out of your mouth. I don't want to work with people like you. In fact, I'm better off without a lot of you. Think what you want, Donna, but don't chuck your career away because of it. What difference does it make? You're a brilliant copper. Don't throw that away out of anger. I've made my mind up. This isn't about me or your mum. This is your life. If you jack it in, you're just giving up on yourself. Well, I feel like I've done ten rounds with Mike Tyson. Well, I had to put it through its paces, didn't I? I'm not buying something I'm not sure about. You sure you don't want to take me on, will you? It's a bit forward, isn't it? Just to wind your dad up, of course. I'm sure I can manage that on my own. Do you want to do it again sometime? What? Go for a test drive? If that's what turns you on. I don't know, Matthew. I've got a lot going on. My life's a bit complicated at the moment. Tell me whose isn't. Well, he's nothing if not persistent. That's the funny thing about us men. We can all be a bit like that sometimes. But the secret to success is knowing when you're just knocking your head against a brick wall. You've had every opportunity to contact me. I can only presume you're not interested in what I have to say. Right, that's it. I'll give you the money. Go and buy your house. You can't do that. I can. Emma likes to think she's in charge of the world. It won't do her any harm to be told no for once. <laughs> I'll pay you back. See it as a gesture of goodwill. She may not want you around, but I most definitely do. <laughs> oh, oh, that's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> now, will you tell Doug that he better not leave without saying goodbye or I'll hunt him down? I'm sure he wouldn't dream of it. Thanks for coming, Lily. <laughs> My pleasure. Oh, thanks, Lily. Bye. Bye. I'll tell you what, I'll sleep well tonight. I'll bet. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Everything all right? Is it Mum? Is she okay? She's fine. She's on fighting form, in fact. Well, where is she then? She's not coming. She doesn't want to be with me anymore. She's asked for a divorce.
on a rigger. No, don't. Please, Laurel. Her mind's made up. She meant every word. It might be best to let the dust settle. I should never have left her alone. She reckons that over the last few months she's realised that life is short and she doesn't want to waste another second of it with me. She never said that. Well, that was the implication. I'm sure she didn't mean anything quite so harsh. <laughs> she said she's going to travel the world, expand her horizons. She can't. I'm... Your marriage is worth more than a phone call. She reckons that we've been leading separate lives for some time now, perfectly successfully. And she's not prepared to carry on solely out of duty. Oh, Dad. Hey. Look, the Dingles. <laughs> Who knew? Ah, the dragon fruit! <laughs> Good luck eating that. You should thank yourself lucky, really. Zach wanted me to bring you a rabbit's foot in. And I thought he'd given up on the idea, but he says he's going to bring it when they come. More like. You know what he's like. And Belle's done your picture, and Lisa's worried sick, of course. I mean, I've managed to hold them off so far, but I didn't want to see you. Do you know what? We should organise a list of who you want to see first. Otherwise, I'm telling you, you're going to be swamped. Hey! Just thinking. Always thinking. Never mind you, right? Never mind you. I could change my career. I could be your bouncer. Huh? Sorry, mate. You know I'm not doing it. You're not coming in. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I miss me calling. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's me going on. You must be tied out. Ross came in earlier. Did he know? Finally plucked up the courage. Trying to talk me out of leaving the force. I hope we told him where to get off. Well... He didn't want to quit that bloke. He needs to learn to back right off. Here for ages. Just going on about what a brilliant police officer I was. And you were. And you'll be brilliant at whatever you decide to do next. Brilliant and alive and safe. Good day. Yes, fine, thanks. You? Rather frustrating, actually. A drink? Yes, please. I spent half of it trying to get hold of people. I was driving. I couldn't take your calls. What's going on between you and Matthew King? Are you ever going to learn to stop meddling in my love life? Carl tells me you were out on a date with him. When it wasn't a date. Not that it would be any of your business, even if it was. You know my feelings about him, don't you? Oh, I do, Dad. You make your opinions very clear at every opportunity. What did you want me for, anyway? Um, no matter. I've dealt with it now. Why? What have you done? Carl turned up. Told me you and he were wrangling over some house in the village. I bet he painted me out as the baddie, didn't he? I've given him the money. You've done what? I wanted to talk to you about it, hear your side of the story. But you didn't afford me that privilege. So I went ahead and did what I thought was best. You're unbelievable. Is this supposed to be some kind of lesson? The great patriot rides again? He's got you right where he wants you, hasn't he? I'm nobody's fool, Anna. Don't ever forget that. Shall we have another? Oh, you're joking, aren't you? I've got to get a woman's seat, Eric. I can still stand up. I think we might have had more than the recommended units today. Yeah, more than it's recommended for the whole country. That's the great thing about the liver. It'll regenerate. No, the thing is, you've got to stop drinking for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she lost her shoe. She won't be laughing if she steps on a piece of glass. I'll stop being such a groan. Well, Dan could get done for that. Andy. Sorry. I've had a brilliant day. I'm glad I made the effort. Yeah, me you know. Why the robots are being... <sighs> right, what are we having? Champagne? Don't you be getting all flashed just because you're a property owner. Got Donald to bail you out then, did you? As a business loan, yes. I'll have a spritz, please. I remember my roots. <laughs> You got the house, then? Looks like it. Well done. Right. I think we need to sit down and have a very serious chat. 
Uh, yeah, but not here, eh? Is she okay? Glued to the box. Worn out, I think. Hey, don't let her go to sleep. She'll be up again at four. What do you want me to do? Fill her full of sugar? I'll go and check on her. That's all right. I'll go. You're back on an even keel, then. Well, he's been lovely. Couldn't really ask for more. You want to take him to Kitty's parties more often? They obviously suit him. I think he's only in it for the cake. I'm glad you're all right again. I can't imagine being without him. I'm going to have to talk to her. And say what? Her mind's made up. I'll go, I'll go. He'll be grizzling because he's lost his dummy. This is my fault. I mean, you stayed because of me, because of the way I was with Arthur. Laurel, don't do this. It's not going to help. Yeah, but if you hadn't have been here and you'd been with her, then maybe she wouldn't have felt like that. You know, she'd be OK. Well, that's a distinct possibility, isn't it? But there's nothing we can do about it now. Yeah, I know, but I can talk to her, Dad. Try and make her understand. That's not going to change your mind. You're exactly the same as her. You're both as stubborn as each other. Yeah, but I came round eventually, didn't I? By the time you saw sense, the damage was already done. I didn't realise, Dad, and I just, you know, I just wasn't thinking straight. You weren't thinking about anybody but yourself, and that is understandable under the circumstances. But now, we all have to live with the consequences of that, don't we? I just need a bit of time on my own. I'm sorry. It was my deal in the first place. And when you saw how much it meant to Carl, you should have let it go. I can't believe he asked to borrow that much money. He didn't ask. I offered. Do you really hate me that much? I've often disagreed with you, Anna. I've never hated you. God, ever since I was born, you've been trying to control me one way or another. And precious little good it's done me. I have to say, I'm appalled at the thought of you hooking up with Matthew King. I have told you there is nothing going on there. I seem to remember we had a very similar conversation about Mark. He was my fiancé, Dad. And I'm your father. What are you going to accept that occasionally I might actually know what's best for you? I am not a child. Then stop acting like one. This jealousy with Carl, it's got to stop. You have to let it go. You know, I don't give two figs about Carl King. The only thing I care about is the way you've been treating him. It's like he's more part of this family than I am. That's ridiculous. Oh, is it? I'm telling you, Dad, I am not going to sit around and play second fiddle to some village lad. Sooner or later, you're going to have to choose exactly where it is your loyalties lie. He wouldn't have meant any of it. He was just lashing out. I know, but he's right. If he'd gone with Mum, then she wouldn't be doing this. We don't know that for sure. Well, I do. He's got a right to blame me. If I hadn't have been so selfish, I would have seen it was the wrong thing for him to stay here and I would have made him go home. Laurel, you've got to stop doing this. You can't take everything on as your burden. He's a grown I man. Really he makes his own decisions. I'm going to be handle this. I really don't. I think you need to face the fact that there have been cracks in your parents' marriage for a long time. Yeah, well, she's always been a nightmare, but he's... he's always put up with it. It's worked for him. Maybe. Maybe not. But what's he gonna do? I mean, they have been together for 40 years. It's gonna be lost. Troubles brewing in the bill next. How's Sally going to get out of this one? Then a fascinating look at the lengths people will go to to scam the insurance industry. Fiddles, cheats and scams is at nine. And if you've missed an episode of your favourite soap, why don't you take control at STV and catch up in our brand new video player at stv.tv forward slash video.